Okay, in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the JTEC Photonics website. We're going to download the um, Mach 3 inches post processor that they provide for us for their laser. And um, then we're going to go into a text editor. Uh, we're going to edit that post processor so that when we run it with our JTEC laser on our Mach 3 machines, we don't wind up with those um, with those little laser dots that uh, occur oftentimes. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get started. I've uh, called up the JTEC Photonics website. Uh, we want to scroll down to where we can find the um, the uh, post processor for the Vectric VCar Pro. Uh, on this particular screen, it's on the right hand side. Depending upon your screen resolution, you may find this somewhere else on the um, homepage of Vectronics, but it's there somewhere, at least it is as of October 2016. So you shouldn't have too much of a problem trying to find it. We're just going to click on that, and by clicking on that will take us to another page. Here is the uh, Vectric VCar Pro laser post processor page. If we scroll down, we can see that we have six options for different post processors. We're really only concerned with these two options right here for Mach 3. Um, you can download a version if you use the millimeters for your units of measure or for inches as your unit of measure. I use inches, so I'm going to download that particular version. However, there is absolutely no difference between the two post processors except for one line of code, which differentiates units of measures between um, inches or, um, or millimeters. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, click on that. We're going to, down that was pretty quick. Uh, we're going to download that. Okay, this is the post processor that we download from JTEC Photonics. Um, it's a, it looks a little bit complicated. If you haven't seen one of these before, uh, it's only about two pages long and it's not really that complicated. There are only about a dozen lines of code in this whole post processor that uh, does our work for us. The rest of these lines, many of them are just commented out and have no impact on what happens. Um, but let's run through this real quick, just so we kind of understand what's, what's in here. Um, we have the name of the post processor. Uh, we have a history of when the post processor was uh, edited and by whom. Um, we have the post processor name as it will show up in Vectric VCar Pro. This is uh, pretty important to know because we're going to go in and change that later on to um, alleviate any kind of confusion. But right now, uh, regardless of what you call this file when we save it, um, xcarve laser inch dot g code will be the name that will show up in Vectric unless we change that. Um, the file extension will be G-Code versus TXT, but G-Code file extension will still run on your Mach 3. Uh, as we mentioned before, our units of measurement is inches. Um, this next uh, code here just tells the G-Code to make a carriage throw after the end of each line. Um, this next block of code here says that when the G-Code is built, um, the, line, the uh, yeah, line numbers of code will iterate by 10 and uh, it will go up to as high as 999 or whatever that number is. Um, the next block of code just uh, declares the variables that are used throughout the code. Uh, you don't really need to know for the purpose of this exercise what all these variables mean. If you're really interested, then you can read the PDF that accompanies your, um, your Vectric VCar Pro uh, program. It's the post processor PDF and it will describe um, ad nauseum what all those mean. The, um, the next line of code is uh, defines the header of your G code. Um, it'll start with T1, which is your tool number. Uh, the G17 is a G code um, command that says we're going to uh, do our work on a plane, which is what a CNC will do. Uh, the G20 is the delineation of inches as unit of measurements versus um, uh, vice using millimeters. Um, then the G0 command, that's not an O, that's a zero. The G0 command is a rapid movement um, to, uh, was it Z home, and then rapid movement to X home and Y home. And then it will begin the rapid moves to begin 
the um, the cut of the actually in this case the burning process with your laser and then um, this is where we get into where the post processor works its magic um, and does the uh, executes the file that you send to it you'll notice we have these m3s at the end of these lines here those m3s are the commands that turn the laser on uh, there's another one down here um, and then the command that turns the laser off at the end of the move is M05. Um, these are what's giving us problems, and these are what's causing those little dots. So these are what we're going to change in our next step. Um, and, and then the last thing we have in the post processor, it defines the footer, which will be the rapid moves back to Z home, um, X home, and Y home. So that's pretty much what the post processor is. What we're going to do is we're going to highlight all this because we're still online. We're going to highlight all this and we're going to press right click and copy and then we're going to put it into um, a, uh, a text editor that uh, will allow us then to edit some of those M3 commands. Um, I say text editor, that is not the same thing as a word processor. Do not put this into a word processor because word processors will put um, extraneous code in there that will confuse the heck out of your, um, your Mach 3. So don't do that. We're going to use a text editor, and Window provides a free text editor. So that's, uh, yeah, we saved that, and now we're going to go into the next step. All right, now what we want to do is go in and select our text editor. So just go down to the Windows, um, go down to the Window um, Applications, the Accessories. Uh, click on the down arrow on the accessories and go down to notepad, click on notepad. Um, that's what's going to open up and give us the um, a G code. So um, remember I clicked on um, right click and copy before. Now we're going to click on right click and paste. And we have our post processor pasted into the um, pasted into the notepad text editor um, so we're going to do this uh, kind of the easy way instead of searching through here for all those m3 and m5 commands we're just going to do a um, we're just going to do a um, find and we're going to type uh, m3 and to find okay let's click up here at the top first there we go uh, now we'll find next and it found the next m3 right here uh, we're going to change that M3 to an M11, small p, and a 1. 11, lowercase p, 1. Um, uh, we're going to go back and now to find the next one. There we go. And we're going to change that M3 to an M11, p, 1. And find the next one. There's another one. And we're going to change that M3 to an 11P1. And find another one. Okay. The only other, um, the only other M3 actually will be in the footer. And that's part of that M30 command. Um, the M30 command just pretty much announces the end of the file. Um, so we're not going to change that M3, but we are going to now look for a, um, an M03 in case somebody um, added an M03 versus an M3 command. No, there's no M03. Uh, M4 is also used to turn, the, um, to turn the laser on, so we'll see if there's an M4 in here. There's not. Uh, we'll go to an M04 and see if there's an M04 in here. No, nope, there's not. Um, and so last, we're going to look for the M5, which will be the command to turn the laser off. Okay, there's no M5. Uh, doesn't surprise me, but there is an M05, which is the same thing. So, yeah, we found it down here. And we're going to change that M05 to an M10 small p1. So 10 lowercase p1. And that, um, see if there's another one. No, there's not. Okay. 
um, that pretty much does the changes that we need to uh, need to make, except for I told you um, in the last step that we're going to change this post processor name in vCarve Pro. Um, we're going to change this to xCarve Laser Modified, and you can change that to anything you want. You can change it to uh, Super Alien um, High Speed Doodah if that's what you wanted to change it to. But in this case, we're going to um, respect what the previous authors uh, named this post processor. And we're just going to put in the fact that it is modified. So it will show up in VCar Pro as an option for a post, um, yeah, for a post processor that will be named XCarve Laser Modified in G code. Okay, the next step is to save the post processor into the post processing folder of your VCar software. So we want to go up to the upper right hand corner, um, hit file. Uh, yeah, save as, uh, come down to the C drive and go down to the program data folder. Um, just an FYI, the program data folder is a hidden file, a hidden folder. So if it's not visible in your directory, it means that you have your um, hidden files hidden and you need to go in and uncheck that so that your hidden files will be visible. Uh, depending upon what version of Windows you have, whether it's um, Windows 7 or 8 or 8.5 or 10 or whatever, um, just if you don't know how to do that, just Google how do I show my hidden files in Windows version, whatever number you have, um, and you'll get the instructions on how to do that on Google very, very quickly. And it's an easy thing to do, but just make your um, program data folder visible. And then once you go into program data, uh, scroll down to Vectric, click the Vectric folder. VCarve Pro folder will show up. Um, that holds all your uh, legacy copies of VCarve Pro as well as your current one. Okay, so I see I have 8.5 and 8 and 7.5. We're going to use 7.5 um, because we don't want to have any compatibility issues. So uh, we're going to stick this in our VCarve Pro 7.5 folder. You'll see in here there's a my underscore post p folder for post processors. There's also one called post p. Um, do not, and I'll say again, do not stick your post processor in your my post processor folder. It needs to go into this post p folder. So we'll go into post p, um, and we're going to save this uh, post processor as um, we're going to find it again quickly. So we're going to 0, 0, 001. Um, it's xcarve laser modified. And that's just what we're going to call it to save it in the folder. That is not what's going to show up as a selection option once we get into our vCarve Pro software. What's going to show up there is going to be what we typed into the post processor within those quotation marks earlier. But for the purpose of saving this right now, we're going to save it. Notice it's going to be saved as a text file. OK, so now we want to go back into our folders. I see folder, program data, uh, Vectric, vCar Pro, 7.5, post P. And you'll see that. Um, here's pro here is the problem. Here is the problem. Um, this is our post processor. It's been saved, no problem, in the right place, um, but it's saved as a text file. You'll notice all the other post processors are listed as a post processor file. The problem with that is that when VCar Pro goes and looks for the post processors to offer up to the users as an option. Um, it will not pick up this text file. It will only pick up those files with the PP extension. So we're going to have to change this um, file right here. And you'll see that we have the option to change it from a TXT. We're going to put .pp to save it as a post processor. Hit enter. Windows um, types up a little, get, brings up a little warning, says you really want to do this. Yep, yes we do. Now notice that the 
um, post processor is now listed as a pro post processor file, and that will make it visible then in vCar Pro. You have to do this. If you leave it as a text file, it just won't show up. 